there is a Chinese saying that goes, if you want happiness for an hour, have a nap. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. But if you want happiness for a lifetime, help somebody. During my experience at the Apple Developer Academy, I have been asked a question, which was, how can we help people with disabilities through common technology? Well, the first person I thought about has been my dear friend, Carol. Although we had a difference of only 48 years, <laughs> we quickly became friends because she was so youthful. She was always smiling, and she was enjoying every day of her life, just like if it was her last. Just imagine that we went to the Hard Rock Cafe together. I mean, I went there for the first time with her and not with my friends. And once when uh, we were chatting and having our cocktails, someone next to me said, hey, thumbs up for your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Carol was also a great technology wizard. She was amazing using computers, um, smartphones, tablet PCs, and you know what? She was really good at it. However, Carol had a big problem. She suffered from a severe hearing loss. She was so hard of hearing that even when I shouted, hey, Carol, can you hear me well? Next to her ears, she couldn't hear a thing. And, um, well, she had, th this made her feel really embarrassed. She, was f she felt so limited because her only way to communicate with people was through video calls, text messages, and a pair of headphones. But that's when I thought, hey, wait a minute. What if I created an app with my team that picks up the sound from the, from the microphone of the smartphone and amplifies it through the headphones? And that's how we created our app, which, by the way, works with three simple steps. It takes a, high, a hearing test, it collects some data, and then it enhances those frequencies that the user is weak with. Isn't that simple and functional? You know, there's been a constant debate on whether the growth of, te uh, the growth of presence of technology in our lives brought isolation or not. Well, some people uh, are not happy because they think that we, we're more isolated today because we cannot peel our eyes off our screens, while some others, they're really happy because now we can exchange ideas with people from all over the world. To be honest, I'm one of those who think that technology brought a lot of, a lot of isolation. But I have to think about, again about my... Uh, I have to think again about the role of technology. It's only thanks to it that today we can see accessibility improving so much. <laughs> it's thanks to common technology that most people can actually see their problems solved easily. Imagine the uh, community of people with disabilities who cannot afford a professional help. Now, thanks to a smartphone or a PC, they can see their problems solved. This is a social revolution we should all think about, because we should think about being more connected um, socially rather than only on the internet. You know, being connected uh, socially is our primary need. So, people, let's design things to help the others. I would like to dedicate this talk to my dear friend Carol, who unfortunately left us just one month ago, and uh, who is still with us today, and will always be in my heart. I have a severe hearing uh, problem, and my hearing problem is nerve deafness, which a lot of people have. More people than you would think. Anything that would help us would be such a plus. It would really, it would change my life. At this time, I have to ask people 
to SMS. I depend much on lip reading. I am so limited. All you guys did. It's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> How do, I don't know how you did that. This is good, is what we need. This true. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind attention. I would like to thank especially my beautiful team for making this possible. And uh, yeah, don't forget, if you want happiness for a lifetime, help somebody. Thank you. Thank you.